guys, Aaron from Wild Science here bringing you another episode of our YouTube series of tips, tricks, and tutorials for graphic design and sign setup. Again, my name's Aaron. I work at a sign company out of West Michigan called Wild Science. If you're in need of any kind of signage, hit us up. We have great prices and uh, our quality is awesome. All right, let's get right to it. So this is episode 14 and uh, I don't know if you've seen like road signs that have rounded corners um, or any artwork that has rounded corners and they have you know multiple layers inset of rounded corners inset from each other uh, there's a right way to do it and a wrong way to do it what we're looking for is to have the outside border be the same thickness all the way around um, and there's actually a special trick to do that and that's really easy in Illustrator so I'm gonna start by making uh, a rectangle here of 20 inches wide by 40 inches wide by 20 inches tall with one inch uh, radius corners all right I'm gonna center this so uh, if you haven't done this before, you might be tempted just to copy that layer and paste it in place. I'm going to change the color here to red and then shrink it in. But what you'll notice, even if you align the sides to be the same, the, the top border, the bottom border, and the left and right border to be the same uh, distance, you'll notice that where the corner is rounded, there's actually more room there because when you shrink it down, it's actually shrinking um, the radius of the corner. So the easiest way to do this sort of a design is actually not to just do that, but we're going to do the same thing. We're going to copy and paste in place. We're going to Command C and then Shift Command V to paste another one in place. I'm going to make it red again so you can see it. And I always say make it another color so it's easy to see what's happening. Okay, so we're going to highlight the new top one and we're going to go Object, Path, Offset Path. And what we're going to do, yours is going to show up maybe with zero in here, but we're going to hit preview so we can see what's happening. Now, when we go to the negative number, which I'm doing um, by just pushing the down arrow, you can see now it's showing you uh, the new path that's being offset. And if you look, you can see that it is the same distance on all sides and at the rounded corner, which is really nice. And you might notice if you go in really far, you can see that it ends up turning square. And what it's telling you is you're too far in to have a matching rounded corner. So you need to stay um, where the, the corner still looks rounded. So um, I'll show you what to do if you need to move it in further. So, all right, so let's go there. That looks good. So then I'm gonna hit uh, okay. And it's going to actually make two new layers. Uh, and you can see if you click this first, the bottom layer it creates is, is, is actually the original layer. So we can delete that. And then we'll, that'll leave us with just this extra layer, which is the inset version. Uh, and you can see that is a really nice rounded corner. It matches. All the sides match everywhere. So it's, it's really beautiful. That's how you do it. It's very simple. Um, but it works really well if you're looking to have like a rounded corner uh, design or sign with sort of a, another color bordering it. And you can do as many like that as you want. You can keep going in. Um, so here's the thing. If you need it to be thicker, but when you do the inset, it just ends up going square. Um, like I had shown you there was kind of doing that. Here's what you got to do. You need to start over and you need to take your original rectangle or create a new one, but you can take your new, your original one by, and uh, you just got to highlight the direct selection tool and you're going to click this white dot that's on the inside of each corner. And what that does, it's a new feature over the last couple of years where then you can change uh, just the rounded corner. So what you need to do is make it larger. So let's go up to two inches. And so you would do that for every corner, but just uh, to show you that you can go in further now, I'm going to do just this corner because you can adjust them individually. But normally you'd want to have all your corners match. So now I'm going to copy this, paste it in place. I'm going to change the color again. All right, I'm going to go object, path, offset path. Okay, so we already, this is, I'm going to preview the exact offset path we did last time. You can see that all the corners are still rounded. As I move further down or further in for a farther inset, once we get to an inch, you can see that these rounded corners are completely gone. And actually the reason they're gone is because we set our rounded corner at an inch. So um, I'm just realizing that as I'm making this video, that's how this works. If you're, if you're insetting further than, than the outside rounded corner, 
uh, you're gonna it's gonna end up being just square you'll lose it so that's why these ones are now square and but this one I can still round because it's two inches in fact if I go up here I can go all the way up I bet to two inches before it hits square boom they're square so that's kind of how it works so you got to kind of think about your design especially if it's a printed sign um, if you if you want the inset to be an inch then you need your uh, rounded corner to at least be an inch probably a little actually probably needs to be an inch and a quarter um, that way you don't hit the square uh, so you got to think about that and that's a helpful little thing I just figured out um, that's how you can see how to round your corner so that you can make your inset still match so anyways uh, that's how you do it it's a very quick way to get a nice uh, inset rounded corner rectangle or square or whatever you're doing so I hope that was helpful. If it was, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're going to be doing a lot more videos of tips, tricks, and tutorials uh, for graphic design and sign setup. Hey, thanks a lot for watching.